Do you want to sell block time slash contracts? If so, follow me along on this video and I'll show you how. We're going to start by going to manage items. Then we are going to select on new item. I'm going to type in 10 hour block time. My price is going to be $1,000. Taxable no, enabled yes, add item. Then I am going to head over to the contract tab to set up my contract. So I'm gonna select the box that says make contract. $1 credit value, I'm gonna leave at one. And my credits included is going to be $1,250. It is not going to expire. And the allowed aircraft, I'm gonna leave blank as well. I'm going to also include that instruction time. And I'm applying the system 172 for the make and model allowed. So I'm going to save and head on over to a user's account so I can show you an example of applying the contract in their account and then also checking in a flight. So let's just select Will as an example. I'm gonna go up to charge, select the item. The rate's 1000, yes, go ahead and add the charge. So now you'll see at the top, you'll see the contract. You will also see that it does not expire and you'll see the total unused credits. I am going to just delete this charge out of here so I have a zero balance for a great example. All right, let's go on to the schedule and we'll check in a flight for Will. I'm going to select on his reservation and then select check in. I'm just gonna add an hour here to make it nice and simple. And we're gonna go ahead and add an hour for instruction as well. Okay, so as you can see, we have the aircraft charge, the instruction charge and the contract making an adjustment leaving me with a grand total of $0 for this flight. Also, the contract has applied as a default payment type. I'm gonna to go to finish, go to account, so we can take a better look at the adjustment that took place. So as you can see again, the aircraft instruction charges, and then the contract making that automatic adjustment to zero out the balance. You will also see up at the top, the unused credits has reduced. So let's go on over to reports, all reports, and scroll down under other miscellaneous to select contract credits. This report will show you all of your users and the contracts that are applied to them, credits remaining, dollars remaining, create a date, and expiration date. If you have any questions at all with block time or contracts and setting them up, please feel free to reach out and let us know. Thank you.